Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Grey Remnant here, giving you another video tour of one of my more impressive uh, mega builds. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. Today, I'm going to be showing you, uh, as soon as it shows up, oh, there it is! The massive, the massive subterranean mega mansion. That's right, that's the name I chose for it. Uh, it is massive, it is mega, it is a mansion. And it is very subterranean in that uh, most of it is underground. Uh, but the, uh, the above ground portion is actually pretty impressive uh, in and of itself. It's a nice little house with a balcony uh, in a uh, tundric mountain setting with a little staircase here. So I'm going to give you the grand tour. This is immensely big and took uh, years to build. So I'm going to go through as quickly as humanly possible. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get uh, through it all. There's a lot of stuff uh Bear with me. I'm going to go very, very quickly. I'm not going to ditz around. I'm just going to go through it as quickly as possible. Here you have the first floor. You have a boom box. You have a dining room table. You have a kitchen area and an overlook. Oh, look at that beautiful scenery. Isn't it beautiful? Yep, it is. And you've got the uh, walkway here, which leads upstairs. Yes, there is a second floor. Surprising, I know, in a, in a mansion that has a second floor. You have some... This was before pots, so I just kind of... Yeah, this was built a long time ago. So some of the stuff is kind of outdated. That's okay. Aquarium! That doesn't have any fish in it. Use your imagination, kids. All right, uh, television. And then you have the bedroom. The master bedroom of kingdoms. Not really. Okay, so this is my bedroom. I know, you're jealous. It's an awesome bedroom. Spent way too much time on it, I think. I don't even remember. And, of course, you have a uh, little balcony here. Uh, and then we also have a uh, attic or a tower room. I don't know what to call it. It's, it's a tower. Yeah, that's what it is. It's actually a, it's a good name. Uh, so you've got a, a bed and, and a chair and a library, a little library and some lighting. And the view is quite spectacular up here as well. Again gotta move because there's much to see this is not all there is okay i know it seems like this is all there is but hey there's a basement yes a base i know it's surprising right i'm sure you guys missed that staircase when i walked by it last time uh oh this is the basement in its entirety it's just a small little space now i'm just kidding there's a button here which opens a secret door oh a door Yes, okay, so now we are in the underground portion of the massive subterranean mega mansion. Restroom, toilet, sink, yep, all the works. You got a bathroom with a little, a, a nice little bath here, and some nice decorations. One decoration to be exact, it's just a picture. The emergency exit, I'll go through this quickly. So basically, if the house is under attack by monsters, creepers, skeletons, whatever, uh, you could go down here and, and, and escape. Through this secret exit. Oh, we're we're outside of the mansion now. Oh, that what a surprise! And the secret button is here. It opens and closes the door. Yes. Congratulations if you noticed that button when I was giving you the tour of the outside. You are special and you deserve a reward. Have a cookie. So let's go back into the mansion proper. We also have a nice little medical supply co closet because fall down and like break your skull you're gonna need medical supp supplies <laughs> and you got a little recreation room here with a mural on this wall pool table eh! i love pool tables i do them all the time uh more murals uh television couch coffee table lighting it's just a regular rec room and now oh that's only floor one of six yeah there are six floors six levels oh spoilers okay let's go <laughs> let's go to the next level <laughs> First level is the seclusion room and the library. Here we have a, a surveillance room. I don't know what it is. I forgot. I made it so long ago. I don't even remember what it was supposed to be. Here's a seclusion room. You come in here to meditate. It looks like you're outside. Really, you're not. You're inside. You can lock yourself in. Nobody could get in. You're now secluded. That's the seclusion room. I know. Another surprise. Library! Ah, it's quite a nice library, I think. We have some nice lighting. Oh, and the master book. I don't know what to call it. It's a book. And a nice little reading room for you to read in, obviously. Uh, that's typically what one does in a reading room. What do you want to do in the reading room? Besides read. I don't know what you would do. There's not much else in there besides a table to read. All right, next floor. 
All right, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We're not even. It get, uh, it gets bigger every floor because it's actually designed to to take up the. I'm not gonna bother closing these doors. Why am I bothering? This is the pool room. Oh, the pool. Actually, two pools. Uh, and the color color you got red, blue, good, evil. Not really, but <laughs> the, this is where you keep the towels and stuff. I don't know. There's a storage space there. That's the same thing over there as well. And, oh, we have the changing rooms. Oh, so we got the uh, women's changing room and the men's changing room. So we'll go through the men's first because... Actually, no, ladies first. That What a... Uh, bad manners right there. My, my apologies, madams. You always go first. Um, so you got the sink area. You've got um, some, some stalls, some toilets because well, I, that's typically what's in a changing room. You got a nice little bush there because why not? Uh, and you've got a lower floor. Yeah, I know. There's multiple floors in the changing room. I know. That's awesome. Showers. Yeah. And a nice little hot tub. The ladies get the hot tub. Men don't get one. You don't get one, guys. You don't need it. That's, well, I don't know. It, it really, the reason the, the women's changing room has the hot tub and the men's doesn't is because of space. That's it. That's the only reason it's an issue of space. Because remember, we're inside a mountain right now. So there's limited space, limited places to put stuff. A nice shower. Oh, some urinals. Ah! And then you got toilets. And then you got, you know, that's, that's it. No second floor. Because again, it's all about space. There's no space for a second floor there. There was for the women's. There wasn't for the men's. Sorry. Sorry, dudes. You don't get one. And uh, over here is my private office. My office where work is done. Where work this is the waiting room. Oh, it opens the door. The secret door. Oh, look at this. This is my office. Look at my chair. It's got like a headrest on it and everything. Oh, this is where this is where business is conducted, guys. Yeah. And you can actually lock yourself in. Nobody can open it now because uh, that's how redstone works. And that's it. That's that's the second level. Oh, actually, no, this is level three. I take it back. I take it back because the top level is level one. Okay, so level four. Level four. Oh, we're, we're making. We're making great progress, guys. We're almost there. Oh, the theater and video archives as well as the conference room. I love this floor. This floor rocks. This floor is awesome. Look at this. Look at this entry lobby. Look at how, look at the design and the, yeah. And so we have, oh, this is, a, this is a lovely little lobby here with some nice roof work and, and whatnot. We have uh, a closet. Tom Cruise is in there sometimes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get sued. I'm going to get sued so bad, guys. I'm in so much trouble. Okay, so this is the theater. The, look at the, oh, th this is a quality theater, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the seating and the, oh, the projector is in there and everything. Whoa. Whoa, guys, this is incredible. This is just lovely. It's wonderful. All right, this is the projecting room. This is the projector. I know. And these are the lights. So you can turn the lights off. Oh, now the screen is the only thing that's lit up, just like in a theater. And you can actually turn the projector off. So now it's just pitch blackness. I don't know why you'd want to watch your movie in pitch blackness, but there you go. Uh, the This is where you insert the DVD or the VCR or the Blu-ray. It's a computer center, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do a good job at explaining that. I apologize. Apologize, guys. I suck at explaining things. Okay. Uh, then we have the video archives. We have every movie that was ever recorded, and you can watch it on here. I don't know, I mean, again, it's an issue of space. There was room here, I decided to put a video archive room here. It's nice. It's a green, it's a green room. And then we have the conference room of champions. Oh, you can hang your clothes here and everything. Your suit, not your clothes, your suit and your jacket. When you come in and you sit down at the big table, the table of, of meetings and, and whatnot. And you've got some bushes and you've got oh, monitors on the walls for overseas uh, members of the... Uh, the meeting, whatever meeting is taking place to appear on. And you got the big screen up here for charts and graphs to appear on for, for the people at the meeting. Yes, I know. It's quite a grand conference room. And you've got the men's bathroom. Just a simple bathroom. And the woman's bathroom as well, which is the same thing except without urinals because women can't use urinals. We all know that. Okay, let's move on. Oh, it's getting a little bit, a little bit laggy, but that, that is okay, because, uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. Well, I closed the door on myself. Sorry about that. And again, you can, uh, look at the, how the redstone wiring, uh, looks. You just have to download the, 
the world save and take a look for yourself. I'm not going to go through how it works because it's going to take too long. And we're slow. We're low on time. Food and water supply and the residence hall. This is a grand floor as well. Look at this lobby. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, so here is the dried food supply. So there's lots of dried food in here and whatnot. And you've got a little refrigerated room as well with stuff. Remember this room, guys. It comes back later. You'll see. You'll see. It's awesome. Trust me. Okay. Get out there, go in here, up, 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 what's in here, what's in here? We got some farming supplies in here, just some supplies for farming, hoes and seeds and stuff. The water pump room, oh my god, this is awesome, you guys. So, in order to get water in this facility, you have to pump it down from a underground well of sorts. And you can turn it on or off here. Look, the water, it stopped flowing. So it just gets sucked up into the facility here. Oh, there's a control panel here. Nice little computer. And it goes all the way down. Oh my god, we just fell like a thousand feet. Oh, remember that window as well, because that's that's uh, important later. Yeah, this is literally how deep the facility goes. It actually goes deeper than that. Um, so we've still got a lot to do. Uh, so that's that. Oh, the, the conservatory pasture. Uh, yes, this is where you grow foods and stuff. Look at that ultraviolet lamp. That grows the things, and oh, we've got we've got sheep, we've got chickens, we've got cow. How did you get out, good sir? You have broken the rules, and you must now die. I'm just kidding. I just kind of hit him. Uh, cows and pigs as well, and that chicken is freaking out. Sorry, buddy. You shouldn't have broken out of your pen. What's wrong with you, dude? I feed them sometimes, sometimes. And, and that's that's all there is to that. Oh, oh, look at this lobby. More pictures and art and everything. Yes. Oh, and we got a nice little hallway. So we've got seven rooms. I'm going to go through them very quickly because they're all different. Um, kitchen area in here. We got a uh, widescreen television and everything. Uh, we've got a bathroom. Oh. Oh. Shower. Toilet. Sink. The works. Bedroom. Oh, houses, it, houses four. And a nice little TV. And storage space and everything. And that's it. That's it. That's it for room one. Room two. Room two, guys. We gotta get to room two. Okay. Room two. We got a nice little portrait on the wall. We've got a kitchen area. We've got a dining area. We've got a stair- Yeah, a staircase. we got a bathroom down here. The same thing. Sink. Shower. Toilet. Done. We've got the uh, living area with a desk and a computer and a television. And the bedroom. Oh! Yes. Hurry. I don't have no idea. I have no idea how much time we're uh, wasting because uh, I can't see the counter because this is full screen right now. So I, I don't know. Oh, kitchen. Uh, dining area. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Library. Desk with a computer. Oh, television. And a boombox with a dance floor. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Down here we have another portrait. Yes, a portrait. A portrait of champions. Bedroom with a TV. And beds. Oh, look at that diamond ceiling and a uh, storage space, a little closet, whatever. Uh, and of course, a bathroom is always needed because that's some that's a essential. That's essential for human life is to have a bathroom. Of course, in the wild, there are no bathrooms. There is only lions and death. But this isn't the wild. This is a mansion, a mega mansion. Room four. We have dining area, kitchen. Uh, desk with a computer. Up oh, downstairs, we have a little recreation center here with a television and a couch. Oh, and then, of course, there's actually an upper floor to this room. This room is three stories. Three stories, guys. That's, that's incredible. Pool table, beds, and, of course, a bathroom. Because we always have that. Shower, toilet, sink. Next. Close the door. Oh, okay, room five. Oh, we have an aquarium. We have a ch we have a little bench. We have a dining area. We have a television area. We have oh uh, yeah, you guys are gonna like this. A kitchen. Oh look at this kitchen. This kitchen is just oh it's wonderful. We got some storage areas here. Oh bathroom. I know it's always a surprise when you see the bathroom, right? Oh you got a little like divider between the toilet and the sink. Look at how nice that is. That is oh my god, guys. Do you see it? Do you see how awesome that is? Oh, <gasps> this is just a closet. Tom Cruise is in there sometimes, too. He's all over the place. I don't know. Uh, bedroom. Yeah. Another little la lamp. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's it. That's it for this one, guys. We got... We. Oh, my God. There's only two left. Two left. Ready? Ready for number six? 
close the door. Close it! Okay. This is actually the first one I made. Um, I don't know. It, I just started on this end. Uh, so the kitchen area, dining area. Oh, uh, where are my manners? This is the bathroom. Oh, I went crazy with the, uh, with that in here. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't even know how my mind works. It's weird. Got a little storage area here. Uh, got a, uh, couch and a television. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is wonderful. We've got a kitchen area. We've got a nice little portrait on the wall here. We Oh, bedroom and another TV. There's two TVs in here, guys. I kid you not. There are two TVs. There's one there and there's one on the other side of the wall. My God. By Jove, sir, you have blown my mind, said you to me. Room seven. This is my room, okay? I get the biggest room. With a huge ass dining room table and up a stereo sound system. And of course, a nice walk in kitchen with a baking center. And oh my god, it's a cold storage room! Ah! Look at all the stuff you could keep in there. Look at it all! Uh, yeah. Oh, there's some cake. Don't eat that. That's my cake. Seriously, guys, don't touch it. That's mine. And then we go down. We go down the stairs. To the lower floor. Oh, look at this giant screen television. And look at the lights. Look at the picture on the wall. Look at the couch. It's mine. Don't touch. And a bathroom with a sink and a toilet. Oh, no shower here, folks. Just a pool. Just a hot tub. That's right. Nice. And then across the ways, we have my bedroom. Where we have a little table here. We have my private office with a computer and the kung fu painting is on the wall and everything. Wow. And then we have the actual bed area. Oh, look at this. Look at my bed. My bed is awesome. My bed, bitches. Oh, another TV? Oh, with giant speakers on the wall. Oh, my God. This is just... And a walk-in closet. Tom Cruise isn't allowed in here. This is my closet. He can fuck off. I don't care. Uh, remember this closet as well, because there's actually a secret- I'll screw it, I'll just tell you- Oh, secret door! Oh, I'm not gonna tell you where that goes. We'll- we'll- you'll- you'll find out later. Okay, so that- that's my- that's my room. Room seven! Room seven, bitches! Let's go back upstairs. Climb over the table, climb over it! So that concludes level- Five, which leaves only one level. That's right, the lower level. The lowest level there is, level six. Six, guys. That's right. Now, let me show you something that will... Oh, look at that. Reactor core and incinerator and laboratory. Oh, my God. What could the... This is the reactor vent shaft. Don't go in here unless you want to get radiation poisoning. But we're going to go in here anyway. Oh, it's dark. It's not lit. So guess what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to drink, drink some potions. Some potions of night vision. God damn it. God damn it, sir. Take the, take the vial. There we go. It's all bright now. Isn't that wonderful? Look at this ravine. This is a natural ravine. I did not build this. This is where the reactor vents are because there's a nuclear reactor underneath my bench. <laughs> Yes, you heard me right. So this is where uh, it's all expelled. And there's actually uh, a hole. That's like a hole in the lake. That's frozen up above. Oh, but what's... Th is this a secret button? My God. What? <gasps> Wait a minute. That wasn't there before. Wait, let me just verify. What? But, uh, how? That, that doesn't even make any sense. That was very difficult to build. Okay, I... I that was very difficult to build. You can check it out. Uh... On the world safe, if you want. I'm not gonna go into it. It's a big redstone circuit. Down here, oh my god, a sewer system. This is pitch black, by the way. Pitch black. If you come down here, and it's not on peaceful mode, yeah, creepers and shit are down here. This is what- I, I don't even know. Oh, what is this? A secret area. My god. Now, if you really want to, you can check out what's up there. I'm not gonna show you what's up there. You gotta check it out on your own. You gotta download the map. You gotta play the map. You gotta go up there and you gotta check it out because I'm not- We don't have time. We don't have time. We have to keep going. We have to keep moving. We have to make haste. We have to go. We have to go, guys. Okay, I'll tell you where that goes. That goes back to the dry food storage place. Remember where I told you to remember that room? Yeah, that's where it goes. But I'm not going to show you. It takes too long to get up there. Um, okay, so... Uh, that's a laboratory. But we're not going to go there yet. We're going to save that for last. We're going to save that for last, guys. That's right. Oh, we got a nice little portrait here. We got a, a portrait of champions. The reactor core. No, we're going to do the incinerator first. No unauthorized personnel, folks. You know what that means. That means you got to stay away from this area. This is no unauthorized personnel. Whatever that means. I'm the only authorized person now.
Of course, if you download the map and go down here, I can't stop you. So mm -hmm. think about that. Think about that, guys. Up, 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 up. The incinerator. My God. Look. Oh, my God. This is just a lava pit. And oh, look at the detailing up there. Look at this. This is where all the garbage in the entire facility gets dumped. It all gets incinerated in the lava pit. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, there's no way that actually works. Uh, guess what? It does work because there's actually a button here. Purge system. Yeah. Watch. Oh, the garbage! It's all gone. It's been incinerated. Yeah, I know. Big redstone circuit for that, too. You can check that out in the world save. I'm not going to go through it. It's it's there. Check it out. You can also look at the redstone that powers these toggle doors that I made. Uh, they're beneath every single door. Just make a hole in the floor. Check it out if you really want to. It's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty simple redstone circuit. It's pretty simple, guys. It's not It's not mind-blowing. It's simple. Ordinary. The reactor core. My god. Now this, this is a geothermal nuclear reactor. That's right, guys. Geothermal nuclear reactor. That's right. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't have to because this is my world. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, before you say anything, i just like to say that, uh, I don't support anybody who would build a reactor core underneath their house. That's clearly um, out of bounds in any country. I think that's illegal everywhere. I don't think you can do that, but I do it. Uh, so here you have the cooling uh, uh, chambers down there. They're all covered in water because you have to keep it cool. Otherwise it blows up like Chernobyl and everyone dies. Everyone, well, not everybody died it in Chernobyl, but a lot of people did. Uh, and here, we, oh my god, this is the reactor core. My god. And it, it's like uh, it's a, a thing that goes into the lava, draws energy, the energy from the lava, the geothermal energy goes up and it fuels the reactor and the reactor. It, it's a nuclear reactor and it powers the entire facility. And actually, this is in my town, so it actually powers the entire town. <laughs> and nobody has any idea. Uh, they think it's the windmills that power the town. Yeah, right. They are so impressionable and stupid, aren't they? Not you guys, the people who live in my town, which is the, the AI villagers that live outside of the town. Uh, so basically, that's it. Okay, so that's that's everything except for, yeah, the laboratory. Ha 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 you guys are gonna like this. You guys are gonna like this, I just know it. So this, this is, uh, this is a proper laboratory, okay? This is a big, big laboratory. Oh my god, you guys, what is this? It is all. Oh. So there's two floors to the, the lobby. You've got the upper floor here, and then the lower floor with a monitor and a hidden and a door, a technological door. And these can actually be turned on and off. Uh, if you turn them off, the place gets very dark. So in here, we have the private quarters. That's actually my room. Do you remember the uh, the book, the uh, walk-in closet that's in my, in my uh, bedroom? Yeah, that's where it leads to. So I could go directly to the laboratory. And in here, we have a staircase. Oops. Oh, look at that. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's go down. Let's go down and check out the laboratory proper. Oh, look at that. And this actually opens a door to the nether. And actually, you guys, there's a nether base on the other side of that door. But we're not going to check it out until the end of the video. So just be patient, you guys. Uh, the chemistry laboratory. This is where Walter White hangs out. Yes, that's right. Walter White. Heisenberg lives in my facility. Uh, in your face. In your face, bitches. So there's two laboratories. Laboratory 1, you have the control panel, you have some chemis chemistry related items, and, and some sinks, and this is where you store the beakers and chemicals and whatnot. Oh, and an emergency shower. Oh, look at that. If you get covered in, like, hydrofluoric acid, you gotta go in the emergency shower, dude. You gotta. And the second one is actually a different design. Oh, look at it. It's different. It's not the same. Ah! Just because it would be boring if it were the same. Same shower. Psh, hydrofluoric acid. Go in the shower. You'll probably still die, but <laughs> you could try. You could try and wash it off. I don't know if it's going to work. <gasps> the enrichment center. That's right. The enrichment center. I'm sure some of you guys probably know where this one is going. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this is that uh, water. Remember the window at the bottom of the water well where the, the water that supplies the entire facility? This is that window. And this is just leads to a cave system. 
Uh, it's just like a, a door. I don't know. The, there was a cave right outside of where this is, so I decided to make a door to it. There you go. Oh, this is the microbiology laboratory. The microbiology laboratory. You have a, you have a fridge for storing specimens that need to be kept cold. And you have an uh, autoclave. An autoclave. Do you know what an autoclave is? Well, that's understandable. Not a lot of people know what it is. It doesn't matter. This is where you keep the uh, hazardous materials, the viruses and whatnot. You have to keep it in the sealed case. Oh... Okay, that's the microbiology laboratory. The medical laboratory. This is where I perform medical experiments. I mean, uh, not medical experiments. What, what, what was I saying? I, I, I meant to say this is where people get treated for diseases. I do not perform medical experiments, you guys. Okay, maybe I do. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, we got a bathroom in here. Look at that. That A bathroom. There. It, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, the surgery room. This is where the surgery happens. This is where I do surgery on people. Uh, it, not, not in an experimental way. In a way where, where they, they need surgery. And, and so I give it to them. These are the surgery tables. Oh, this is the prep room. This is where you... Okay, that was weird. I don't know why the door didn't open. Okay, so there's, there's some... You wash your hands here, and you hang your 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 um, surgery aprons here, and, and all your equipment. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the, look at the, uh, uh, the monitors on the walls. This is where the medicine is kept. The medicine. <laughs> and there's an overlook up there as well. So you can overlook the surgery as it's happening. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can see all the surgery from here. Wonderful surgery. Okay, and you got the control room. Because there's always a control room. Why wouldn't there be? I can't get through. Okay, I'm through. I, I made it, you guys. I did it. Okay. It's all okay. It's all okay. We did it. Okay, so that that's it. Look at the... Look at the Red cross on the floor. I know. Impressive. Not really. But, you know, let's just keep going. Alright, down here we have the kennel, the greenhouse, and the testing annex. Now, you're probably wondering what testing annex means. Well, you're about to find out. Okay, so in here, we have the kennel. Warning, wild animals. Wild, you guys. And this is where they despawn for some reason. Let me respawn the wolves. I They used to stay forever. But uh, a patch was released where the wolves just stopped spawning, so now I gotta put more wolves in. Hi guys, what's up? Hi, right, they're back. Look at my wolves. Aren't they wonderful? Hi wolves. Oh, and they need food, of course, so you gotta hit this button. And what? Oh, a sheep! Eat up, guys! There you go. Good dog. Yeah. And you could have access to them here. Hi guys, what's up? Oh, you're so cute! Okay, there you go. Right here. Get out. There you go. And they'll despawn. Uh, you'll. I don't know what you have to do to prevent them from despawning, but I haven't figured it out. You'll have to figure it out. Let's get rid of this shit. Okay, let's go to the greenhouse next. The greenhouse. The botany laboratory of champions. Let's go in here. Oh, we've got all the plants and their scientific names. This is Rosa Cordesi. It's a rose. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read off the names. You can read them if you want. They're boring and scientific. Who cares? Uh, let's go in here. Oh, we got the trees as well. Oh, look at that. Look at the UV lights that power the... Well, they don't power the trees. They they keep the trees alive. Yes. Don't stand directly underneath the lamps or you will get cancer. Sorry. That's the way it works. Lamps equal cancer. All right. That's pretty... We're, we're so close to being nice, guys. We are this close. This close. I'm holding my fingers very close, my finger and my thumb very close to each other to signify how close we are. Oh, in here, the testing addicts. No, wait, 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 what am I doing? Okay, so, before I go in here, quick disclaimer, I'm not a serial killer. I, t I don't, I do not, uh, uh, condone serial killing. I do not condone keeping people against their will in a chamber. Uh, but this is the testing annex. This is where I keep the human test subjects. What? If you're looking at me like I'm insane, then how dare you? All right, so this is where the human test subjects are kept. They each have their own room. I know. Because I'm nice like that. I gave them their own room. They each have their own little place of sanctuary and solitude. Okay, yes, it's kind of like a prison blop. But it block, but it doesn't it doesn't matter, you guys. You have to look at the big picture. These guys are being used. To, to make life better for the people above ground, okay? So, you know, just shut up. 
with your 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 morality and your whatnot. I don't care. This controls all the cell doors. It really does. Uh, I'd show you the redstone circuit, but you could do that on your own. This releases all of them simultaneously. Warning: main cell release. It. Don't pull that. Otherwise, the uh, I think they'll all kill me because I haven't fed them in a while. They're probably pissed off about that. This is my office. Yes. See, I have I have a room too, you guys. Now, granted, I can exit my room whenever I want. But, you know, we're all equal. We all have a room. You know, it's not that big a deal. They're just, they're happy. You hear that? They're happy. They're like, hey, thanks for putting us here. Bye, guys. And now you're probably thinking, wait a minute. Is that what that medical place was for? Nope, 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 nope. That's for injured people, not for the test subject. I don't perform experimental surgeries on the test subjects, guys. That's not what that room's for. You're, you're just, you're... You're crazy! You're making stuff up that isn't true! Just forget it! Just forget it, guys! Okay, so I promised you I'd go inside the nether base, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go. Let's do it! Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Okay, so this is the nether base. Now, now, I know. Down here, this leads to the nether fortress. I know. I'm not gonna go there. You could just go there on your own if you want to. In here we have, I know there's water here, and you're probably wondering how I have water in the nether. Well, I'll show you in just a few seconds, actually a few minutes. So you got water pumped up into the facility, you've got control panels, you've got a staircase here. Oh, look at this staircase, it's wonderful. Oh, you put a, 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 a recreation room. Oh my god, there's a TV, there's couches, there's, an, oh, there's more, there's two rows of couches, and there are speakers. Good god. This is in the nether, you guys. The nether. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go up first. Uh, bu 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 here is the exit. Well, it's not really. You can't go anywhere because I'm right outside of a lava lake. But nevertheless, here is the. Oh, look at this. And that's another fortress over there. You could probably see it. It's over there. Oh, this is the base from the outside. Look at how wonderful that looks. That is just. That's a wonderful base. It works. It works. Let's go back outside. We're getting a little laggy, but hey, that's okay, man. That's 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 perfectly okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, we have the library here. Oh, look at all the books and the tables and a laptop. My God, this is the nether. You shouldn't have this kind of nice stuff in here. Bushes and everything. Man, I wish I had this place. Oh, wait, I do. I made it. Ah! A pool area. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Because in the nether, people deserve to have a pool area. The men's room. The changing room. And the women's room looks exactly the same, uh, actually. It's just showers, toilets, and a sink, and a changing bench, whatever. That's that's what they have in public pools, right? Pretty sure. And the ladies' room is exactly the same. Whoa, 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 we gotta go up. There's more, you guys. We're not done yet. Are you crazy? Look at this. We got the residence hall. Now, granted, these are all exactly the same, but they are different colors. They have different color carpeting in each room. You've got the bedroom. You've got the kitchen. You've got the dining area with the television. And, oh, my God. You've got storage. You've got lights. You've got everything. And if monsters break into the facility, you could just go through here. And that leads to an escape duct. Yes, you can escape if the monsters invade, which they probably could because all the monsters in the nether can spawn wherever they want, regardless of light level. So they're all the same, just color coded. And then you've got a restroom at the end. You've got sink, urinals, up. Oh, you've got stalls. You've got showers with, with shelving so you can keep your stuff there while you're showering. Isn't that wonderful? And you got the, uh, oh, the balcony. Use caution. Use caution because there are ghasts out here. And you've got a nice little overlook here. Oh, look at that. Look at the tower. Look at the face. That's meant to scare off the gas. They see this face and they're like, oh shit, dude. We gotta stay away from that. Look at that. That's scary. Not really. But, you know. It works. They stay away from it. Primarily because I'm in peaceful mode right now. Um, let's keep going. We got one more floor, I think. I made this a long time ago, so I don't really remember exactly where everything is. So forgive me if I... No, we've got the medical facility. Again, for treatment, not for testing, you guys. I know you guys have a sick imagination. Why would you possibly think I would conduct medical experiments on people? Okay, besides the fact that I have kind of like a prison block with people kept against their will. Jesus, are you going to hold that against me for the rest of my life? Come on, guys. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Oh, the intensive care unit. You've got beds. You've got a coffee machine for whoever's sitting here because it gets tiresome, you know, sitting here. Late hours, need some coffee. Come on. 
that's just common sense. And then we have the last floor. Oh, the, well, actually, there's more below, but uh, oh, I love this room. It's identical on the ceiling as it is on the floor. Look at it. You got the chairs and everything. It's all, it's the upside down room as like, or the mirror room, whatever. I forgot what I used to call it. It doesn't matter. And the doors, they actually open. Here, I'll show you. These buttons control the doors. So you can open all three of them from here. And the doors, they open. Ah, the rooms are identical on the ceiling too. Look at that. Ah. But it's just cosmetic. They have they don't go anywhere. Here we have an overlook where you can look outside over and you can actually go on the roof there. I'm not going to do it because it doesn't matter. You can do that on your own if you really want to. Close the door. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then we have the exit. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You can go out. Oh, look at the lava and everything. That is just that is top. That is top notch, ladies and gentlemen. It is. It is. I admit it. It's pretty top-notch. And then, of course, you have the laboratory, because we need a laboratory wherever we go, because there's testing that needs to be done, not on humans! Sometimes testing can be done on plants, or it can be done with chemicals. It doesn't always have to be on humans. I don't know why you guys would think I would test on humans. You guys are- you have sick heads. You're sick in the head. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. You have the microbiology laboratory here. Oh! And then you have, oh, the greenhouse again. Remember, it's an exact replica of my greenhouse uh, in the overworld. Yep. And then we have Project Redemption here. This is where you build another portal and go back to the real world if your original portal is destroyed. Oh, you got, like, control panels here and everything? My god. My god. God, man. And you could create the portal if you like it. You could escape. You could escape from the nether if you if you so choose. You could be redeemed. Even if you've conducted testing on humans, there's redemption for you too. Well, that's a relief for me. What? You don't look at me like that. How dare you? You, you think you're so high and mighty because you don't, like, put artificial organs into people's bodies to see if they work or not? I mean, that's just... That's not... Such a bad thing, you guys. You, you, you're, you're thinking about it too much. Just forgive and forget. Don't worry about it. They're all fine. Well, some of them die, but, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's not. It's okay. And the, the, that closes the doors. So let's go back down. Let's go all the way back down because there's actually more floors below the main floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not even close to being done yet, you guys. We're not even close. We're not even remotely well. We're 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 closer than we were like ten minutes ago. So that go that goes without saying, obviously. Come on, let's go go down the stairs. Go down the stair. Oh, here we are. Let's go down. All right. So obviously we're in the Nether. So we need to keep the place cool. And so to do that, we have the coolant chamber. Yes, yes. These are uh, cooling uh, 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 cylinders that pump cool air into the facility and keep it cool, even though it's the nether and it's a, it's a hellscape, a very hot hellscape. But no, it's cool here because we've got cooling chambers, yes. And we've got the food supply because you need food in the nether. You've got wheat, you've got sugar cane, you've got melons, you've got pumpkins, you've got it all. You've got, you've got uh, your, your control consoles, you've got tools and seeds and stuff. Oh, it's just, it's wonderful. And then down here you have the, oh, uh, the water synthesis laboratory. I know what you're all thinking. How do I have water in the nether? I thought water couldn't be in the nether. Well, you're wrong because I found a way. I found a way. Ha 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 ha. So this is this is a device of 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 sorts. I will show you exactly what the device is. This is the control deck, and we're gonna go down to the factory floor now. And we're going to I'm going to show you how water is made in the Nether. Oh, this place is 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 just it's wonderful. Okay, so this is how it works. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. So. The nether is just covered in lava. There's lava lakes everywhere. Lava is pumped down through this uh, tube. goes into this chamber. There, the lava vapor is separated from the lava. It gets expelled through this tube. It goes into this machine. This machine separates the carbon dioxide and the methane and the, the, the sulfur dioxide and pumps it back to the surface. But it keeps the, the, the water vapor and it pumps it into this uh, compression, or what do you, condensation chamber, where it cools the water vapor and turns it into fresh water that is pumped back up into the facility. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say there's no way this would work. Well, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. You could just shut up, okay? Oh, that looks cool from this side. Look, at that's the observation deck and everything. Oh, man. So that's how you make water in the nether. 
And again, I know you're gonna say that's not that's not possible. Shut up. So we have the incinerator. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta get rid of your garbage. You're in water goods. Oh look at oh that's lava pit. Be careful. No, it doesn't open. It's just glass. Oh look at this. This is an underground lava cave. You just do this. Look look what happens. Oh you incinerate all your garbage. Oh that's just that's wonderful. So there you have it. That's that's how you get rid. Oh and of course you're probably wondering how do I power this facility. Uh, well, that's that's a, that's a good question, and I have the answer right here. An identical nuclear reactor, geothermal nuclear reactor chamber, as the one we have in the overworld. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> Big surprise. I couldn't figure out any other way to power this facility. Um, so that that's it in its entirety. That is it. That is every single thing. Everything. You're welcome. So let's go back to the overworld, and I will give you guys the salute, the, the, the salutations before I leave you. Okay, so here we are, back home in the laboratory. Let's just close this off, and uh, I'll talk as we walk. So thank you for watching this, this video of my massive subterranean mega mansion. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. It took a long time to make, dude. Really did. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like, give it a comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Oh, look, we're back in my room. Tom Cruise, get out of my fucking closet! Okay. Um, uh, you can download this entire thing. Yes, you can download the whole thing on my Planet Minecraft page. The link for that is in the description. Check it out, download it, explore it, enjoy. Okay, seriously, it's for you guys. And, um, next week we'll be doing a lo another Let's Build. I don't remember what it is, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't know. I don't know. You'll just have to tune in and find out. Oh, and don't forget to share this video with your friends, because, of course, how else are they going to see it unless you tell them about it? Come on, guys, show them! Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, tell everyone about this place. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are a part of this, and I couldn't do it without you. Uh, see you guys next time. I'm Grey Remnants, signing out. Goodbye, guys. Ah, goodbye.